Here at the Classic Motor Show for 2019, the Jaguar Enthusiast Club have put on a stunning tribute to the chief development test driver for Jaguar, Norman Dewis OBE, who sadly died this year, aged 98. To these guys here on the Jaguar Enthusiast Club stand, Norman Dewis was a real hero. All of these cars that we see on the stand have been provided to the Jaguar Enthusiast Club by the Jaguar Daimler Heritage Trust and really represent a model from each era of Norman Dewis's amazing 33-year career with Jaguar. This is the first of our cars in tribute to Norman Dewis, the Jaguar C-Type NDU 289. The Jaguar C-Type brought Jaguar its first victory in the Le Mans 24-hour race and was one of the first models that Norman Dewis developed during his career. This particular C-Type is one of the later production cars and unlike the 1953 works cars, it was still fitted with SU carburettors and drum brakes. Norman Dewis began developing the disc brake concept on the Jaguar C-Type. The technology was fitted to Sterling Moss's Jaguar C-Type in the 1952 Mealy Melia, and Dewis accompanied him as a passenger. This car then, one of the first cars to be developed by Norman Dewis and very much a part of his fantastic story through Jaguar. This is the Jaguar D-Type OVC501 from 1954. This is a truly unique car and is the factory prototype for the machine which brought Jaguar a hat-trick of victories from 1955 to 1957, thanks in large part to the development work and testing undertaken by Norman Dewis. Norman put the car through a rigorous programme of tests in which he found problems with the engine, gearbox and steering, all of which he quickly rectified. Capable of 190 miles per hour on the circuit, this car was also drivable on the road, which Norman did, as all works cars were driven from Coventry to Dover onto the ferry and then down public roads to the Circuit de la Sarthe at Le Mans. In March 1961, an icon was launched at the Geneva Motor Show, the Jaguar E-Type. This car is the subject of one of Norman's most famous stories. Norman drove it out to Geneva from Coventry, non-stop through the night, to satisfy the unprecedented demand for press drives at the Motor Show launch. The epic trip saw him embark on a 12-hour overnight endurance run, making it in time for the launch at 10 a.m. the next morning. This car, 77RW, is now the oldest surviving open-top E-Type. This is one of the most unique cars here on the Jaguar Enthusiast Club stands, tribute to Norman Dewis OBE. This is the Jaguar XJ13. There was only one ever built and this is the car. And it was a prototype that Jaguar developed to race at Le Mans to take on the might of Ferrari and the Ford GT40. Unfortunately, this car never raced at Le Mans. There were a change in the regulations that meant it could no longer take part. So it was put under covers in the factory and left for four years languishing. And then in 1971, when the Jaguar E-Type V12 was launched, they dragged this car out and used it for the press launch that Norman Dewis drove this car in at the Myra test track in 1971. It was to be an event that nearly ended Norman's career and indeed his life because Norman suffered a puncture in this Jaguar XJ13 on the Myra test track. It saw him flip end over end twice in this car, then roll twice. And it was only the fact that he didn't wear seat belts, he was able to cower underneath the dashboard and survived. A further tribute to Norman Dewis is that not only did he survive that amazing crash, but he was back at work the very next day.